गुड मॉर्निंग एंड जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ द वीडियो ऑफ सेल्फिश जॉइंट चैप्टर फॉर क्लास सिक्स वी विल स्टार्ट द चैप्टर विद द कोर्ट्स इट इज़ इम्पॉसिबल टू बी बोथ सेल्फिश एंड हैप्पी रिटन बाय जॉइस मेयर सेल्फिशनेस इंडीड अ फैंटास्टिक वे टू बी मिजरेबल डू यू एग्री विद द आइडियाज इन द टू कोर्ट्स गिवन एवर Are they happy people? Those who were, those who are the selfish, make a list of behavior that may be described as unselfish. Do you know anyone who is very selfish? Is he a happy person? He or she? No. If he is a selfish person, he can't be happy person. Either he is a selfish or he is a happy. Now, can you make a list of actions that quality as selfish behavior? Now, it's up to you. How will you connect your yourself with these quotes? Now, this is the short activity for you, which you have to share with the with me on my personal number. Let's start the story. Actually, this is the story of a giant. who is very selfish this story all about the giant from selfish transform the selfish to kind one the main character of the story is giant and the child and this story written by a uh, wild oscar wild this story is written by oscar wild now read the story every afternoon as they were coming from school the children used to go the play in the giant's garden it was a large lovely beautiful flowers like stars and 12 peach trees that is in a spring time broke out into delicate blossom of pink and pearl and in autumn bore rich fruit how happy we are here they cried to each other actually there is a beauty there is a description a description of beauty of garden It was a large and lovely garden, with beautiful flowers like stars, and twelve peach trees. That is, spring time brought out a delicate blossom, means flower, and broke out into delicate blossom of pearl and pink pink color flower, and autumn, and produced the rich fruit in the autumn, and in this garden. Every afternoon, childrens used to come and used to come and play with each other, and they feel very happy after playing here. Let's further read. One day, a giant came back. He had been visit his friend a Cornish ogre, and it had stayed with him for seven years. When he arrived, he saw the children playing in the garden. What are you doing here? He demanded in a gruff, very gruff voice, and the children ran away. Actually, owner of this garden, giant, went to visit his friend, the whose name was Cornish Ogre, for the seven years. After seven year, when he arrived, he saw the children playing in his garden. He became very angry. and demanded in a very gruff voice what are you doing here children are very frightened and ran away my own garden is on my own garden declared the giant and i will not allow nobody anybody to come play in it but myself so he built a high ball high ball all around it and put a notice board saying trespassers will be prosecuted actually he said my garden is on my own garden and i will not allow to anybody to come in my garden and play except me so he built a high wall huge ball around his garden 
and put the notice trespassers will be prosecuted it is the legal procedure against someone for crime so nobody can enter in in his garden let's further read he was a very very selfish giant the poor children now now where to play they tried to play on the road but the road was very dusty and full of hard stone and they did not like it now the children about to think that where should we play on the road no there is very dust we can't play and with full of hard stone so i can't play or we can't play on in the on the road that further read then spring came and over all over country there were little blossom and little birds only in the garden of the selfish giant it was still winter birds did not care to sing in it as there were no children and the trees forget to blossom now there is a there is a sad situation because children were not coming to play in his garden so the spring forget to blossom flowers little birds forget to sing only selfish giant was moving here and there in his garden the birds did not like to sing because there were no child the only people who were pleased were the snow and the frost the snow cow is no covered up the grass with her great white claw and the frost painted all the trees silver then they invited the north wind to stay with them and he came here is the personification writer is uh, describing about the personification for the snow and the frost due to winter only snow and frost were happy and they had occupied whole garden and invited the north wind to stay with them and north wind came because of snow the trees looking like a silver that someone has painted on the trees he wrapped in furs and rode all up, all day about the garden and blew the chimney pot down soon the hail came every day the three hours he rattled on the roof of the castle and he dressed in a gray and breath was like ice i cannot understand why the spring is so late in coming said the selfish giant and sat at the window and looked out at his cold white garden i hope there will be a change in the weather but the spring never come nor is the summer autumn gave golden fruit to every garden but in giant's garden she gave none he is too selfish she exclaimed actually there was a winter because of winter he feel so cold and that uh, the giant used to wear a fur coat and due to chimney uh, due to chimney he feel better and he got a big furious over his garden gradually situation is going to burst due to hail he moved in his garden three hour two or three hours on the roof of his castle and his dress was gray and he thought every time that why the spring is so late in my garden every time he looked peep out from the from his window cold white garden only cold white garden he hope there will be a change in the weather but the spring never came nor summer even autumn gave the golden fruit to every garden but in giant's garden nothing it seems just like uh, it seems that uh, that the which uh, season is exclaimed exclaimed him that he is too selfish so no season 
was enjoying in his garden thank you